Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Test Drive Thursday. Today I'm driving possibly the best looking or best truck ever I've made in this game. Just look at it. It's got that, as you saw in the beginning, I went for like the uh, sleek look. I didn't go for the uh, long lines with the scanny tees like I usually do. I've gone for more a stylish, more heavy haulage and compact truck. In just look at, I just love the colour as well. It comes out really well. Um, I've gone with all the paint matching stuff. So inside all the dice and like the V8 logos there, Scania logo, the Sil Holt um, mud flaps, and yeah. Today I'm going to be uh, taking quite a cool trailer that works really well. First, a quick U-turn. It would help if I turn the game volume up as well, so it's one second. Uh, volume mixer. Uh, not Adobe Flash Player. Where's Hero Truck? There it is. 100%. Okay, hopefully, you can hear the uh, V8 roar a bit more now. So, I had to turn it down for the uh, Scanny 14M that I drove in the time lapse that you saw on Tuesday. Because I'm recording this on a Tuesday now because of uh, something I'm going to talk about once we get further into this video. Let's listen to the sound of the road. All the Vox sitting the inside of the truck. That's awesome. I don't know if you can hear that. Oh, what an awesome audio clip. That was a bit weird for my breath. I was like, are they, are they even connected? So I've got a new trailer pack from Jazzy Cat. So I've got all the uh, cats um, and all real company logos everywhere, which is better than like the fake uh, SES ones like Ica instead of Ikea. It's really nice with all the new SES interior sounds out. Like it makes a click noise indicators on stuff it sounds really good really good addition I think but I just love the colour of on this truck especially with the uh, black interior and hopefully it doesn't rain like it did in the time lapse uh, a couple of days ago because that was a good start to the video as soon as I said uh, hope you enjoyed the time lapse I saw some raindrops starting to uh, form on the mirror so yeah here's the trailer though let's see if uh, my colour matching is okay it's quite a nice trailer as well from the uh, Jessica pack I think it's 30 tonnes of sand colour, colour matching is not too bad but I just uh, prefer the metallic of this to uh, the satin of the trailer. So let's get this all hooked up. So obviously I'm still using the wheel pack, the 50k wheel pack. I used in the uh, previous episode. Let's get that hooked up. In front of the truck race quite a bit there. If that's not an issue. I mean, just look at that. Let's get a... Yeah, Quick photo there, because that's quite a cool view. I think maybe like a wide angle. A bit like that. Get the uh, quarry in a bit. There we go. So, if any point in the video. Um, wow. Just like that. If any point in the video you see. Um, Right, it's some serious lag, I'm going to have to stop it because I'm not sure if it's something to do with the memory on the computer. But lately... Um, I'm recording with Fraps, so... Uh, it's been just some really serious lag just starting up. And I've like deleted all the old videos on it, so I think I've gave myself 100 gigs 
for today's um, test side 30, which is plenty, because a FAPS movie for about half an hour is about, oh, oops, let's get up here before I start talking, get some wheel spin here, well, this might be an issue, whoa, whoa, I've got to try and do a hill start, which is neither easy in this game. Get the clutch down so good. Let's go back down to the bottom. Oh, this is bad. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please. really have a much bigger run up now. I've got to get up there behind me. So I've gone all the way round to where the trailer was. So here we go. Third time lucky. As long as we can get to 60 kilometers an hour we should be okay. Come on scan yeah. Something wrong with this chassis though. Like the game physics don't really it that well. Like, come on. Come on. Get my foot planted. Going to six. I keep going. No, stupid G27. I give up, I honestly do. Um, I've got a bit stuck in a ditch. Oh dear. <gasps> no! Uh oh. I'm scratching the scan yet. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right, keep going, keep going. Tri I've tricked the game. I've tricked it. No, I haven't. I haven't tricked it. Okay, so I'm now at the bottom of the quarry, trying to get out of here, so it started all up. Rev's going. Hopefully got enough fuel to get out of here. Don't like use it all. Right, keep going. Keep going. I'm not sure how much of an advantage I've got by starting down here, opposed to over there where I was earlier. But we'll see. Hopefully I don't get stuck here. Oh dear. I'll keep going, Scania. Keep going. Just stuck at that. I'm not sure like, the weight of the train is like pushing it up. Oh dear. Oh please, please. 
really. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep going, keep going, don't give up scanning. Keep going, keep going, come on, come on, yes, 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 yes. Yes, we have got it, we have gone. See you, quarry. Get paid extra for this. I mean, and we have done it. So I need to go 30 miles an hour. Oops, I'm broken the gearbox completely, probably, but at least we made it. Okay, so after that first hill, I think uh, the gearbox took a bit of a battering and my bag of gear changes. But overall, I'm glad we got it out there without any cheating. So yeah, tap on the back for the Scania. So if you didn't see already, I went for uh, the R560 uh, engine. That's a Euro 4 V8, I think. So yeah, I thought I thought we had plenty of power, but it seems that the chassis I've picked on this, so it's got like two steering axles, or three steering axles actually, and uh, like one too thick tie one, I don't know what it's called, but I think the game can't really handle that. So, uh, just, uh, just spinning the wheels. And because this trailer is 30 tons, in real life that would be a walk in the park for this engine, but um, this game, it thinks 30 tons is out of its reach, so yeah, it had some issues. But we're right there, so yeah. those sounds in the sound of the tarmac. Let's get this uh, sh shipment back on the road. So, let's check where we're going again. I forgot. London. JCB in London. They want some sand apparently. Maybe they're doing like a uh, leasing a new vehicle. They want like a press event thing, I'm not sure what they're called. And they just want some sand for their displays. I don't know, I'm not sure. Julieta. So this has gone noon. So when does this need to be here? Okay, it needs to be there about this time tomorrow. We're currently going to get there four in the morning. So we got have got a uh, ferry to catch. But that shouldn't be too bad. So if you're wondering what I was on about earlier, the thing that I was going to do tomorrow. So what the plan is, I get up about seven in the morning. And in fact I'll go from tonight. Tonight, which is Tuesday, um what is this? Is it a horse? What? The spine on them. Um yeah, I pick well, I've already picked the truck, I just need to configure it tonight. So I'll go that way go a bit my words out. I can go through that with you um, tonight, which I did. Thanks, Spike. I'll go through that tonight, and then tomorrow morning I'll get up about seven o'clock, uh, have breakfast, etc. I get changed and stuff, and then nine o'clock I start trucking all day until five p.m. So that is eight hours of full trucking on New Trick Simulator Two. So hopefully that's um, what it's a bit like to be a real life trucker. So I'll be having lunch breaks and snacks and breaks and stuff. And hopefully I should uh, finish for dinner time at 5pm. So that is the plan. And the uh, as is Sunday my sort of scan you week, um, I have picked a truck. I'll show you it in the video. 
but obviously it's going to be a Scania and hopefully I can configure it so it's as nice as this one but that's the plan really and see how it goes from there deer crossing the wire down the north down here apparently just loved it new engine sounds all the game audios taking sand all this way. Right from Germany to the UK. Why couldn't they get sand from the place in the UK? It's really weird. Because I think they need to Euro truck need to stop jobs like that. Like you're taking the digger like from one side of Europe to the other. Surely there's a closer one that they could rent or something. I find the jobs a bit weird sometimes like that. If you're a like, common viewer of the channel, if not, why not subscribe? Um, I've been having some issues with the traffic lights in Scandinavia DLC, like the glowing red. I've removed some of the mods earlier on and uh, reorganised should be indicated um, some of the map load orders, and I still can't get it to fix. So what I'm going to do is, once this video is finished and it's been rendered, I'm going to have a look and take all the mods off this um, profile and just put them on and see which one's making the issue. If one of them is making the issue, I will re-download it and if it's still not working, I'll just complete, completely remove it from my... Uh, mod page so hopefully that, that fixed the uh, problem if not I'm a bit stuck where are we going up and over and down to the left oh, this is a bit steep I'm pretty sure it's part of uh, like pro mods autobahn like uh, redevelopment Nice, like the little hills. Damn it, that is a better um, junction there. Much easier than uh, the really tight ones that SES have done. That was really good. I really do like this new Pro Mods bit. I'm, as I said, I haven't been here. Um, before, so nice to take a little journey, especially in the uh, possibly best looking truck in the game. And I'm still using the uh, rims that I used in the previous episode, but they look really nice in this, especially with the Michelin tyres. If only the trailer had the same.
predator mode. There we go. Just get the bridge crossing. There we go. The photo. Let's pass this guy. Amsterdam and not too long before we get to the UK. See how we do on fuel. Pretty good. As we are flooring it, I'm not sure how quick we're going. 80. 80 miles an hour with 8 tons of sand isn't too bad. I think 
Newcastle 83. Getting a bit dark. I don't have a cloud set, so I might be under cloud then. And that's another thing they've done. The sun going behind clouds, which is very nice indeed. Adds another level of realism to the game. But this is, this is new, this tunnel. I'm pretty sure this is pro mods. Doing this. Why wow, this is really nice. This is a new junction up here as well. And if you haven't heard um, as well, the new version 1.96 Pro Mods is coming out, which is nice to hear. I believe it adds a new city in. Holland, I think, right by Amsterdam, begins with the Z, I can't remember the name off the top of my head though. Can I be in this thing? Yeah, this thing goes here. So the titties peeps, they're riding A6s. I saw a really nice blue RS6 earlier today in the Audi garage showroom. Really nice. I don't know if uh, I have some inspiration for this colour. I don't know. Because I was thinking of painting this truck orange after the time lapse, because if the eagle eyed uh, viewer would have seen I put an orange smelly tree thing up. But after I saw this in, that, in a nice split, I thought I've got to, got to go for that. This looks really nice. Going out the lampers from there. Make it all blurred out. There we go. I love the blue scummy logo as well. I like how you can do that matching again. You can personalise this scummy tea to however you want it. You can make it completely different. I mean, that's what I like about like these scummy tuning mods. You can do anything to the truck. It's limitless what, it, what you can do. But here we are in Europort. I've got to adjust that front mirror, it's really annoying me. Oh, I missed it. There we go. Are we the front one? Whatever I got. Spam W instead it. There we go. Let's see what we're going to run over now. We go into Harwich. Set some bars. <laughs> Faroe Islands. I did a time lapse there. If you remember, we saw a Bagassi Bay on there. It was a really good find. I had to pause the time lapse to show you. Oh, we're here. Wipes are still on. Um, let's turn the lights on a sec so I can see. So, how long have we got the green lights? Fourteen hours. I don't think it would take five hours, so let's do a rest. So you guys can actually see what's happening. Not sure if that's in your minds too well, but... Don't really care. So that's a quick rest so we can see what's happening. Get everything back started up. If we move the route advisor. It's gonna rain in the UK. Never a good sign. I think it was pulled out in someone. Oh, it's another scanner. <laughs> Viewing 
time. Just gonna level the uh not sure what they are on the back, but I call them wonderful things. But this trailer is really detailed for just a standard tipper trailer, like with the wood on the top and everything. It's really nice. I mean Jad's cat's trailers are just out of this world. The amount of effort he's gone into making them. Just keep to 30 down here. Getting uh, speeding tickets. Okay, straight over here. Let's go to the Volkswagen uh, Transporter in front. It's been a while since I've driven the, uh, the Actros, so I switch back to the uh, Scania and the multiplayer. I just love the uh, Scania now. It's very close, my favourite truck. It's either between the Volvo FH, the new one, and the Scania's. It's very close. I mean, I'd always pick Scania for looks, sounds, um, but I'd always pick the Volvo for a more comfortable drive. If I was going on a longer haul, like I did with the um, most recent long haul video, where we drove from Birmingham to Russia, so I can't remember the exact place, but somewhere in Russia. And that was a long drive. I think if you combine all the episodes together, you've got two hours of footage there, which is quite a lot. I mean, the last episode, no, two and a half hours, because the last episode was about an hour long. And I had to record test drive Thursday, so I was running out of time. So I had to do an hour long video. Else it would have been into five parts then. To the A12. Thank you. 
can see everything. I'd have to turn the lights on, cause them back. We're currently doing 12 FPS, 30 FPS, which isn't too bad. Well, it is bad, but it's not bad for my videos. Especially when I'm running a million volts. as possible. Should be an easy reverse with this uh, all my steering axles. Just waiting for the green light. Thank you for watching that video. I've really enjoyed driving this Scammy T. So the next video will be... I'm not really sure. It may be fun sim or it may be the uh, trucking video that I uh, record tomorrow. So make sure you subscribe for that because that's going to be an awesome video. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this, please do press the like. Download the truck as the link is in the below as the link is in the description below and yeah subscribe and stuff thank you for watching anyway and good bye <laughs>